In Creo Parametric, you can design composite parts. And one of the steps of the composite design process is preparing geometry. You can create new geometry while you are in the composite design environment. Let's take a look at that. Here I am in a part model. In a previous video, I started my composite feature. I will left click on it. And then from the mini toolbar, I can choose edit definition. And this will put me back into the composite environment. And while I'm here, I realized that, hey, I need some additional curves for creating my plies. So I will create some geometry. Let me turn on my datum plane display. And I decide that I need a new plane offset from this plane. So I will left click on the plane. And then from the mini toolbar, I can choose the datum plane tool. And let me get back to where I can see it. I'm going to drag this out a distance. And I decide that let's use a value of 6400. And I will hit the OK button to create that plane. And I realize that I need one more plane. Let's create another one. I will select the datum plane called right and then hit the plane tool. And then let's drag it out even more. And I'll change this value. Let me punch in a number and I will click on the OK button. Let me hide some of my geometry that I don't need. So I'll select these different datums and then use the hide button. And so I decide that I'm going to create a curve at an intersection. So I will switch over to the model tab and I will select the plane and then hold down the control key, tap the right and mouse button until I get the entire quilt to select. And then I will use the intersect command and that creates a curve at the intersection. Let me hide DTM one. Let me select the quilt once more and I will hold down the control key and select the plane and then create another intersect curve. And that's good. Let me hide that plane. And that's the geometry that I need for creating some new plies. If you take a look at the composite tree, here you can see those datum planes and the intersect features. If you take a look at the model tree down on the bottom, you don't see them. Let me hop back over to the composite design tab. I'm not actually going to create a ply right now. I'll do that in another video. But if I hit the check mark, you'll notice that those curves are no longer visible. If I turn on my datum plane display, well, the planes are hidden, but uh, if I had unhid the planes, they wouldn't be visible either because they are within the composite feature. And you might be familiar with a couple other modes in Creo Parametric behaving like that. So for example, if you create additional geometry in Creo Simulate or in ISDX, it just resides within that mode or within that style feature. And there are a few other modes that behave like that as well. So just be aware that you can prepare new geometry for composite design when you are in the composite environment.